welcome back to another video guys today it's all about the insta 360 ace pro i'm going to show you my three favorite features about it right now and then we're going to go up on the mountain here at grizzly lodge go for a ride feature number one my biggest favorite one is the magnetic clip on and off the helmet so it has little tabs in here it just clicks in onto my action camera mount under my visor one of my favorite parts about the magnetic clip is i can take it right off of the helmet snap it onto the selfie stick So now that I've got the uh, Ace Pro onto the selfie stick, my next favorite feature is this 2.4 inch flip screen. So I can take the helmet off of, or take the camera off of my helmet onto the selfie stick, frame up my shot and I can actually see the light. I can see the recording time, how the audio levels are. And uh, you know, if I get a sick shot, I can pop off, flip it up, show it to my buddies. And then um, feature number three that I'm a huge fan of, the 1.3 inch sensor in this Leica lens. So we're in a low light condition today. That lens and that sensor brings in so much light, makes a nice vibrant picture. Enough of me talking about it, let's go ride it. So while I'm doing this review up on the mountain today, you'll notice that I have the Insta360 audio in connection. So I'm running a lav mic and then I have the audio or microphone adapter and I have a mic inside of my helmet. So when you guys hear me talking, that's how I'm doing it. We're up in the Alpine now and the uh, weather hasn't really improved. Pretty flat light out now. I think this is where that sensor, that 1.3 inch sensor is really going to shine. Pretty awesome to be out here the first week of April. Still winter. It was sunny and warm yesterday. A little bit cold, more overcast today. actually kind of dry and crystally still which is awesome I was just messing around. All right, I grabbed the Ace Pro off of the helmet. Now I'm using the flip screen to frame up the uh, the shot here. We got AJ and Jake on the tools. Our guide Taylor had a quick drive failure. Um, I used my spare belt recently, and so he's going back to the lodge to grab a new one. In the meantime, we're gonna strip his sled down, get it uh, get it fixed up for him, and ready for the new belt to go back on. Yeah, what do you got going on here, Trip? What do you got on the pipe, dude? <laughs> nice. Yeah, you're good, that a little hand. Holy, dude. Dude, you're shredding. Did you like that new little zone that we went into? Yeah. <laughs> you guys are ripping down there. I can hear all the pipe. All the pipe. All the breath. Yeah, first breath. Did anybody go down the chute, right? No. I feel like that'd be a very odd thing to do. Just two ski it in behind my track. <laughs> no, he's tipped over on his side in the trees just right here. There's a big shoot that goes all the way to the bottom, like just over from this, I think. 
yet. And you get underneath that, it's just like... I see a snowmobile. Where's Jacob? Do an elevator, Jacob. Send it. Slide it. Ah. <laughs> see, you're better to get on the side panel when it's sticky like that. Hey? Yeah. Go try and find a nice straight jump. Trip, copy trip. I you gotta come back up here. We gotta put your uh, tunnel bag on. Long landing. But it's got like a very lift. Like it's got a rock that does this. That you can like roll over. Or there's like a little bit of a lift. We kind of straighten it out. But the landing's like 40 feet. Nice. Trip, you copy that? Like We've been using this little terrain zone here as an up and a down. I'd assume that he's going to be down here somewhere. There he is. Hey buddy! You got a little rowdy cooking up our smokies, man. Okay. <laughs> I think we just back it up. No. I don't think rolling is the best. You wanna roll it? <laughs> Give her a roll, Trip. Yeah, Dude, you're strong, man. Those sleds aren't light. <laughs> nice work, Jacob. I know, it's insane, isn't it? You and I? Uh, maybe. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty hard pack. Just wait till they move, eh, Trip? Did I trim the tree? Buttery. Kind of mini golfing our way around the, around the mountain here. There's little pockets of good snow and there's big pockets of terrible snow. So we're just trying to find what's going to work the best for what we want to accomplish today. Really all we're trying to do is have as much fun as possible. No real goals today. 
get out, ride some snowmobiles, and burn some gas. Taylor said, get ready to drop down. So we're in the back end of the zone here, known as the twin shoots. Gonna go check it out. How's the sausages, Trip? I could smell them on every time I was following you, dude. Chef Trip with the, uh, it's actually kind of like, well, look at that. Medium rare sausages. This one's easy. Let's check these out. Johnsonsville Bratwurst. Oh, they look like they have a nice crisping. Oh, and, uh, yeah, I mean, right? How can you get mad? Dude, Trip, nice work, buddy. If we put another one of those sausages in there and we pull that hill and that sausage is frozen, I could probably burn it. You think you could cook it from frozen, huh? Just by pulling that hill, like Taylor did. Golden brownness there. Yeah, dude. Yeah, man. He's been watching your videos, so. So we're here my buddy Trip. We uh, cooked these for quite a while. I was riding in behind him and I could just smell awesomeness. We got some uh, sausages cooked up in the muff pot. He used a pretty conventional way to cook. Uh, works really good though. I'm gonna try these Johnson Trip wraps. Hold around the sled shed. Woo! Trip! Nice work, buddy. Pretty dang good. <laughs> Anybody? You wanna you wanna go first or you wanna go second? Okay. Our little buddy Trip here wants to go for a shoot climb. See if I can keep up. Nice work. Can we do it again? Let's do that one.
up, mister. <laughs> nice work. <laughs> yes. We had some fun on the shoots there. Now Taylor's taking us over to another little zone. He said there's more shoots down below. Go check these ones out. Jacob has an actual like burns matic torch up on the mountain here today. And we saw this nice dry tree that's above me here. I think we're gonna try and candle it. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm standing underneath the tree. We finally got it to take off, and that was so rad. <laughs> so, in this next segment of footage here, you guys are going to see that uh, the overexposure is just blown right out. Something happened between when I grabbed the uh, camera, put it onto time lapse mode, and then when I went back to video mode, I must have hit a white balance setting or you know something with the with the exposure on the screen on the touch screen on the back trip just found us a jump so i'm going to take my ace pro off of the helmet a little magnetic clip throw this thing on timeline we're going to shovel a little booter and then uh, send the kid through the air What do you think, Trip? Is that fun? Yeah. Nice work, man. How big did I go? Almost as big as me. How's it feel? <laughs> what do you think about his idea of how to hit that hill? What? Like coming across the across the grain, you know? Yeah. So anytime that you feel like you're fighting that where the hill is slanted. And there's a jump there that you really want to hit just try and come across it like what we just did there you know and you can you actually you're aiming uphill when you take off and then you land in the 
same direction that you're facing. I hit it again. Okay, bud. Oh, he sent that one. So I just unclipped the Ace Pro off underneath the visor. You can see my microphone adapter dangling there. The versatility of this camera is really amazing. Really stoked to be able to just quick on and off changes with the uh, use of the camera. Sun's starting to set here on the ridge top as we start to drop back down towards the lot. I think that's the end of the day for us here today. Thank you guys very much for watching this one. Stay tuned to the very end where I'll give you my best 90 seconds of my thoughts on this Insta360 Ace Pro. The hits, the misses, everything I love. Some of the things that I found that maybe I would change. And we'll see you in the next one. That's a wrap on this review video of the Insta360 Ace Pro. Got that 2.4 inch flip screen, the Leica lens, the inch and a third sensor. It's really awesome in the low light uh, conditions. One of my favorite things actually that I talked about earlier in the video is just the magnetic clip at the bottom of the camera. So I have a adapter on the underside of the visor of my helmet and it's just simple, get up, unclip it off my helmet and then I could use it as a vlog camera. In conjunction with that, the flip screen, flipping the screen up, framing my shot, I can see exactly what the camera is seeing. I can keep an eye on my audio levels and you know overall just great versatile use for that um you know i use this in the pure video mode 4k 24 frames per second in the action cam setting so it has a nice wide view viewfinder or, or field of view it doesn't distort and get crazy sort of you know rounded on the edges shows a nice true look um you know what my eyes are seeing is what the camera is seeing so um you know, I did have it hooked up with the microphone adapter to the side of the side of the camera that provides, you know, the access to be able to run a mic into the camera, have a microphone inside my helmet, talk over the footage. That being said, if the audio to me sounded maybe just a little bit hollow uh, with some time and some touching up in in post production, that could be easily cleared up, just changing some of the audio settings and trying to give it more depth. So, you know, I'm not a crazy tech guy, but I was able to make the audio sound pretty good. Uh, the final thing that I want to touch on, really great, the battery life. I filmed that entire day on one single battery. So I do have three batteries. Typically with other action cameras, I have up to six or eight, even, you know, in some of the winter special ones. So to be able to go an entire day on a pretty mild day, not that it was super cold, and just use one battery in this camera was really nice. Um, I guess, uh, maybe the only downfall that I did see is that, that moment where I maybe accidentally bumped something on the screen and I hit the white balance button or the exposure and the last few shots of the day were just crazy overexposed. I was still able to use them, but, uh, yeah, that was the only, uh, issue that I ran into all day. Ran this camera all winter, really happy with it. Make sure you click the link in the description below. Go get yourself a nice deal on this Ace Pro camera.